Alright guys, so today I'm showing you guys how I installed my uh, steering damper on the Dutron Thunder 2. So this little uh, clip right here is called a sub clip, you just take it off. The thing that you see right there is just grease I use for that squeaky noise and uh, so ignore that. So uh, this is the steering uh, damper, I think it's called the Aries steering damper. Uh, you make sure that you loosen up the two bolts on the side and then it slides down it's gonna be sitting like right there as you see um, once you put it there you just uh, tighten it up a little bit not too much uh, because you're gonna be making adjustments and then we're gonna mount uh, the second part at the top and then start lining it up I'm gonna put my camera down so I can put it so I'm recording with my phone all right, so I just tightened those uh, two bolts right there, and then I'm gonna be putting uh, the top one. It's just the two screws, same on the other side. So this is the second piece. Sorry, I dropped it. I'm recording with my phone. It's kind of difficult. I haven't seen anybody do this on their Dutron Thunder 2. That's why I'm making this video. So if it helps you out, that's good. All right. So we're just going to put this through right now and uh, make sure you line it up with the, um, so you can see the little groove right there. Just line it up and push it down. Easy peasy. So you're going to make sure you adjust the bottom part. That's why I say not to tighten it too much. So they kind of lined up and you know that it's level. Um, the saw clip that I was supposed to get with the steering damper, it was missing in the package. I already contacted Mini Models and they're already sending me one. I'm going to show you guys what it looks like so you guys kind of see it. Uh, this is pretty much done. I mean, it's an easy setup. I'm just going to show you guys what that this thing looks like. So this is the top part. This is the probably the last part that you're going to have to install. So just gonna put it right on top and slowly push it down on both sides for you to slide in uh, you might want to play with it uh, because mine didn't go in a certain way I just had to rotate it and then uh, the, um, you're gonna need to probably adjust that bottom part for sure just to make sure that it lines up properly So remember the top part that you do have to tighten it up, take up the bolt that was on there completely before I can put it on. So once you push it all the way down, you can tighten it up and make sure that it's already lined up and leveled up with the bottom part. All right, once you already like tighten up everything, you're pretty much done. If I had that saw clip, I would have just put it in at the bottom and that's it and ready to go. Um, I'm hoping that this is gonna make some serious improvements. Um, if you see from my previous uh, video, there's a lot of wobble on the steam as you get to a higher speed, maybe like uh, 40 to 47 miles per hour, you start uh, in a lot of speed. So once you're done installing the, the steering damper, the next thing is to add the, the hook for the steam and uh, just put that through. And then, then we have to add the clip. I'm kind of surprised um, as to what the idea is with this clip. Is this clip really strong enough to hold on to this? So I'm kind of surprised that this is just being held on by a clip. It's an interesting design, but it doesn't. I'm just gonna put my phone down real quick so I can get this uh, clip in. It's kind of hard to do it with holding phone. 
So right there, I already pushed it back on. Easy peasy. So I'm just gonna rotate it to how I how I saw it before when I you know opened this stuff up. I'm just gonna rotate it back to that same way. Um, again, the the grease that you see on the steam, that is just um, for to stop that noise, the squeaky noise that you get. So that's how I had it. That's how it was when it came. So let's put it back the same way. That's pretty much done. Uh, like I said, just waiting for that clip. Uh, so you're just going to, I mean, once you get the clip, you just push it down. And then just like the one at the top that I just put the clip on, you do the same thing with the dampener. And then you have the adjustment at the bottom. Easy. So one last thing, make sure that you do put lock tight on those bolts because once you're done, like making adjustments, uh, take out each of the bolt one by one, put lock tight on them, tighten it up, take out the other one, put lock tight and then tighten them up. I use the blue thread locker because I am not interested in using the red one, which requires you to heat it up before you can take it out. So. Make sure that you do this, it's really important. So I wait for those clips to come back. So you guys can already see, it's pretty easy to install and straightforward. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask and don't forget to subscribe.